Do it now. Hello, Jiggy Muggies. <laughs> It's all right. I get, anyway, all right. We'll, we'll start. <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and uh, what you do for a living. Taylor Higgs, entertainer. Entertainer, eh? That would explain your crocodile boots. <laughs> that it would. What kind of entertainment do you do? Have you ever, for example, danced and took your clothes off at the same time? Yes, I have. Have you really? You weren't expecting that, were you? No, I, 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 I'm delighted to hear about it, though. I was delighted, too. Was the audience delighted, though, Taylor? I loved every minute of it. Where was this, in Reno? <laughs> yeah. You were sitting front row. Yeah, I remember, yeah. Oh, over here, over here, Taylor. Uh-oh, place to sit. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Where have you been recently? I'm doing a show in Las Vegas. Oh, really? At the Paris Hotel. I see. And are you a magician? M musician. I see. <laughs> it's a kind of musical magic show? It is. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any white tigers? Mm, two. Really? No. Now, you don't have any white tigers, it's going to be a problem. Yes. Unless you can play one of these. It's a, a, a mouth organ. Harmonica, you uh, may know it by as a... Can you play this? Oh, you've brought your own. <laughs> All right, well... But you're going to play it, too. I can't. Yes, you can. I can't. They told me that you can play. All right, wait there. Go get it. Uh, say something Scottish. Uh, hi, hi, blow the men down. <laughs> Sure it could be a bit more Scottish than that. What about what Shrek donkey? Let's do that. Are you Shrek donkey? There you are, great. If you just tuned in, ho oh, oh, ho, you get your TV All right. fixed. All right. All right, you ready? Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Hyundai. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Completely spontaneous and no way pumped up reaction from the studio audience. I feel like I've been slapped with your lust. <laughs> That's what the warm up comedian said to them today. Did That's you hear? Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before yeah. I came out, he said, Slap them with what slap him with There's your lust? lust? With your lust? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want slapped with your lust. <laughs> All right, just a little bit then. <laughs> no, don't. Anyway, is it getting slapped with lust of cheer, cheering? Yeah, that's not really slapping with your lust. No, that's that's something else entirely, I think. Well, well, what is slapping with your lust, then? Could you say it in 140 characters or less? I can. I'll tweet it later. I can't say it on the air. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everyone. <laughs> uh, or, or, wait, wait. 
Maybe, or is it? Yes, because <laughs> we're getting good at that's that good, now. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Cause in a new interview, the Dalai Lama said that watching TV is a waste of time. I'm like, what? <laughs> How dare you, Mr. Lama? <laughs> Mr. I, I don't know. Anyway, what does the Dalai Lama care about wasting time? He's eternally reborn. Right. He's got all the time in the all world. All the time in the world. He can squeeze in a couple of episodes of House of Cards. I think what we need to do... <laughs> Have you been watching that House oh, of Cards? Good show. Oh. <laughs> That's a, clue. Kevin that's, Spacey, a clue. that's a Kevin clue. Spacey. Yeah, yeah. Good, anyway, right, yeah. what we should do, I think, is make more shows that appeal to the Dalai Lama. Jeff, you go first. <laughs> okay. Uh, How about uh, shows like uh, Two and a Half Monks? Two and a Half Monks. All right. <laughs> all right. The <laughs> yeah. uh, the Big Buddha Theory. Yeah, that's good. Uh, no, it's not. Apparently, right, no. No, no they, I they were it. like, no, we are not slapping you with our lust. <laughs> All right, you do another one. Let's keep going. Sure, all CSI right. Tibet. CSI Tibet, all right. Oh, no, wait, wait, what? Parks and Reincarnation. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I like oh, that. God. I like that. Oh, oh yeah. thank you for the slap. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, How I Met Your Mongol. <laughs> All right, never mind that. Look, yeah, it's a great day, not only for America, but for a, a married couple in California who were walking through their backyard when they found a mysterious object sticking out of the ground. No, not that. <laughs> it turned out to be gold! <laughs> oh, man. That was, that was really good. Yeah, it turned out to be gold! No, they, they found a treasure trove of rare gold coins. It's the biggest discovery of valuable coins since Stedman cleaned the back of Oprah's couch. I mean, yeah. it's a lot. Yeah. Imagine finding gold like that in your backyard. Right now, there's a leprechaun saying, What happened to me, pot of gold, you bastards? It's mine. <laughs> Teedly dee dee. <laughs> this couple is now very rich. They say the gold coins were stored in a, a bunch of rusty cans. By the way, Rusty Cans is the name of the oldest stripper in Vegas. <laughs> but, but hold on. She, she may be the oldest stripper in Vegas, but she's the youngest stripper in Reno. <laughs> yeah. Gold! <laughs> slap me with slap me with your rust. Oh yeah, that's good. All right, all right, all right. And apparently these cans full of gold coins were buried halfway into the ground. I'm thinking only buried halfway, eh? This sounds like the work of the notorious pirate Lazy Beard. <laughs> Arr, they be half buried. That's good enough. Time for me nap, right? That's Lazy Beard. Lazy Beard. You said it, Lazy Beard. <laughs> Are you my companion, Aye, then? Well, what what's you your pirate name? Uh, this is uh, Bony Face, Miguel. <laughs> Arr. Yeah, you know, it's amazing what these, these people... I mean, it's a, an astonishing... Uh, kill, like, well, Jeff, why don't you tell us exactly what these people found? Well, Craig, they found an assortment of Liberty Double Eagles. 1,400 rare, perfectly preserved gold coins dating from 1847 to 1895. Can you guess what this collection's worth? Is it worth more than $5 million or less than $5 million? Oh, my, I don't know, is it? Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say it's worth more than $5 million. Well, Craig, it's a total prize package worth ten million dollars yeah so you are correct that's awesome what uh what, what do i win you win jack squat <laughs> i thought i'd at least win some gold oh, what man. the hell I, I, I mean what do you believe this man. I can't the believe I have to... Why didn't you play the gold thing right away? I said gold! <laughs> well, why, why couldn't you have done that before? You know why you couldn't. You know why. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tell them why. You're a racist. You're a racist, man. Racist. You are a racist. racist. You've got something against Scottish people and skeletons. <laughs> yeah, you've been, you've been rallying against my people for years. For years. <laughs> yeah. You know, we should let him go see Rusty Cans. Maybe he'd calm down. <laughs> Have you ever seen Rusty Dance? Oh, I certainly once, have. Once seen, never forgotten. Yeah. 
can't unsee it. That's true. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's enough uh, of that, I think. Okay, good. Yeah, no, go out yeah. on a high note. Yeah. A high note? Yeah, sure. That was fun. This is a high note? Sure, man. For this show, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back, yeah. everybody. We'll be right back. How long are you in town for, stranger? <laughs> Can I fix you up with something tasty? I'll take whatever you got. Just uh, put it in a rusty can, will you? <laughs> Is that tonight? Did we talk about that tonight? I think so. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is that tonight we're talking about rusty right cans? <laughs> <laughs> You ain't, you know, ain't talking about that dame Rusty Cans that used to dance here in the 1940s, are you? Oh yeah, the youngest one in Reno. You yeah. know her. You know her. She ain't here no more. Did she ever slap you with her rust, that sexy lady? Maybe she's a little bit. I don't know where this bit's going. Do you? No, let's uh, let's go somewhere and get crazy. No, we'll do the tweets and the emails. All right, emails, sure. Okay, All right. Uh, tweets and emails? Sure, yeah. Now, play a jingle then. Twitter. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Twitter. Chicken Vindaloo is good to eat. My name is Scooter. I'll fix your computer. I'm a happening guy and a dope troubleshooter. When you call tech support, you'll be talking to me. I got more patience than Mahatma Gandhi. And emails. Email time again. All right. Mm -hmm. This is from uh, Lucy in Broom. I don't know where Broom is. Do you know where Broom, Broom is? Broom. Broom. It's in the closet. It, oh, stop. <laughs> Sorry. What would you know about being in the closet? It's a <laughs> long time. It's a long time since you were in the closet, yeah. my bony friend. Take that, Seth. <laughs> Wait, was he in the closet? No, no, man. No, he's married, man. He's, he's got a wife. Oh, yeah. Oscar Wilde was married. What are yeah. you saying? Yeah, I understand. I could say so much right now, but I'm going to just keep quiet. Are you trying to start a rumor? No, man, I'm not starting rumors. I will if you will, man. I, I... <laughs> no, man, it's just, it's, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> well, uh... well, I was going to move no, on. No, it's fine. I was going to move fine. on. Yeah, no, all right, well, listen, all right, then. Fine, uh, fine. Come on in, come on in. Hey, how are you? I'm all right. Are you one of those fellas that starts rumors? Sometimes I'm known to, sure, sure. Where, where are you from, stranger? I'm from, uh, from, uh, from Broome. I heard tell of that burg. Where is it? Yeah, it's somewhere in the closet down south. <laughs> down south? Yes, sir. Sure. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, I see yeah, that. Right. I never noticed how dusty this part of the desk it's was until dirty. I started doing it's that. It's very dirty. Yeah, look how clean it is now. Looks good, just that part. Anyway, Lucy in Broome says, Craig, what do we have to do to convince you to come back to Australia? Well, first of all, that would imply that Broome is in Australia. Right, right. So and then, do you want to go to Australia? I'd like to go, man. Well, yeah. I don't know. I think their circuitry is different there. We'd have to get a different socket for you. Well, you know, I'm uh, ACDC. My current flows both ways, baby, so we can make that happen. <laughs> there you go. I don't know. I don't know. Do you know what I did hear about? There's an experimental treatment going on in Australia where they're reanimating skeletons back into their bodies. Is that right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why do you toy with me? Like no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's got to come one day, though. Yeah, I hope so, man. Sure, me too. Yeah. Uh, this is from Dana and Luz in Delaware. You ever been to Delaware? Delaware, yeah. yeah. Delaware. Where's ever, that? Uh, what? You ever been to, been to Dover? Been to Dover? <clears throat> <laughs> Well, I, I might have been to Dover once or twice. Uh, sure, sure. I, 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 I think I enjoyed it. Have you ever been to Dover? Oh, many times, yes, yes. Is that, was, that, was that after you came out? Oh, right after I came yeah, out. Okay, uh, anyway, Dana, Dana and Louis Delaware says, Craig, in our philosophy seminar, the topic yesterday was, what is reality? What do you think about this?
Ask me again. What did you say? What is reality, huh? I guess it's a dame called Rusty Can. <laughs> you see her, your mind will be blown. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. All Never right. mind. Yeah. Okay. It's all right. Okay. Uh, uh, just leave it in. All right. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that's just number one. Yeah, yeah, all right, wait a minute. What? Oh, right. oh, come on, wait. No, 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 no. We'll never get no, 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 no. it. How dare you? How dare you? All right, this is from Lily in Auckland, New Zealand. It says, Craig, have you ever uh, been to the awesome Ferg Burger in Queenstown? Well, I've been to Queenstown. You've been to Queenstown, haven't you? Yeah, many times. Yeah. Many times. <laughs> <sighs> oh, they fell. Um, that was it. That Taylor Hicks can play the mouth organ a bit, can he? Yeah, he certainly can. He's very good at the mouth organ. Talented man. What's that? Very talented. Talented very man. Sexy. Did, he, sexy. he won that show, didn't he? He did, that, that one show. Mer <laughs> what was it? America's Got... America's Got a, An Idol? Ta idol. El America's Got a Talented Voice. America's Got Good, good Cans. <laughs> <laughs> you bet it has. <laughs> yeah. We got the best damn cans in the USA. Damn Kansas set a broom. You know it, buddy. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. <laughs> My first guest, a terrific actress. She's in Cold Comes the Night. Which is on DVD. <laughs> and Blu-ray on March the 4th. Take a look at this. Holy crackers. Oh, man. Alice Eve, everybody, Alice Eve. You look lovely. Thank you. I'm ushering in spring. Well, it certainly arrived just in time for your lovely floral garden thing. <laughs> you look nice. It's, it's Boys don't like these kind of dresses, but girls do. Boys like them fine. Well, it's the flowers are very pretty, Chris. Yes, they are, and they're lovely, and they're, all the squiggles are nice, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're wearing it. Most of the time, I can't concentrate when you're out here. Everything's great. It's all contained. <laughs> Lovely. This film looks a bit scary. I know. You looked very scared in your acting that you did. That wasn't acting. That was genuine scared. Oh, that was hamming. I, how dare you? Ha Do it again. You, you looked like you were sort of coming out of a pool of water and g gasping for air. Like a little tadpole. That's right, isn't it? <laughs> Do you have a good time making this movie? Do you come here often? All the time. I work here. <laughs> How about you? I'm just new in town, actually. I can tell. You don't talk like this. No. I sound a bit like Mo like from Pakistan. <laughs> or Larry King. Hey, um... What accent is Brian doing in that, in that movie? He's doing Russian. Ah, I thought that's what it was. <laughs> it's good. Ukrainian, perhaps? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's happening in the movie, then. Does he, uh, like, he goes nuts and breaks the joint up? 
Well, no, he tries, but I play quite a tough cookie, so uh, I hold my own against him. Do you, uh, do you do it in American or English? Yeah, I do it in American, and I had to speak in American the whole time I was there. How did it go? Well, I wasn't allowed to speak in English ever at all, even to my parents or my brothers or my friends, so I lost all my brothers and my friends and my parents. And uh, do they all hate America? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> all of your brothers and friends and parents hate the United States they of America. They wouldn't call me anymore because I'd sort of answer the phone and be like, Hey, how you doing? And they were like, what's wrong with you? Why are you an American? Yeah, do the American accent again. I liked it. Hey, how you doing? That's very good. I don't know why I go an octave lower to do that. Let's do it again. Hey, how are you? Um, what's up, Mom? Why are you talking like that, darling? What, what, is it, what is it that you're talking like that for, darling? Um, I'm just sitting next. <laughs> I... <laughs> Could we have a call? Sure. Be careful, though. It, it sometimes... I wonder if it will ring. <laughs> oh! oh uh, I wonder who it is. You have to answer it, then. Well, hi, Mom. Oh, hello, Alice, darling. Why are you talking like that? <laughs> because there's this bossy man here who makes me talk in this accent the whole time that I'm on this stage with this horse and this man. I don't talk to me. Wait, hold on. Let me talk to your mother. <laughs> Mrs. Eve, I'm hello. outraged that you would even think such a thing. Plus the fact I also met you before years ago. Do you remember? <laughs> yes, of course I remember, yes. I met you and your lovely husband at the Groucho Club. I'm sorry I was a bit drunk and was sick on your dress. <laughs> Well, take that, Seth. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Bye. Bye. Very good. Ta -ta. I'm still here. All right. <laughs> That's yeah. about right. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done a big uh, root and toot and shoot? Oh, you did uh, <laughs> Star Trek, yeah. That made some money. Yeah, made a little bit of money. That was a good film. Yeah, J.J. J. Abrams. Yeah, he's clever, isn't he? He's very, very clever. Yeah, bastard. You're clever too. <laughs> Not so much. If I was clever, I'd have worked my way out of here by now. No, you're very clever. You channel it differently. You're a, a personality, and he's a, you know, artist. filmmaker. Yeah, artist. But this is an art form, isn't it? I... <laughs> I think it is. It's is not it? easy. You're good at it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that that means it's an art form. I think it's more just... A, a skill. Con it's a convention, I think. The late night show is a convention. You've been on the other ones, haven't you? Yeah. Well, you know the what best. they're like. They're, they're, oh, they're, I, I totally agree this is the best one, hands down. But the... Uh, <laughs> the... Do you know, I have to say, I'm just looking at Brian uh, on the cover of this thing. He, he looks very frightening. He turned and... it around. There we go. <laughs> That's Brian looking frightening. He was quite frightening. He was quite a strong dude as well, like when he had to do stuff and he, was, he had a firm grip. But it worked for the story. Well, he's, uh, he was uh, Malcolm's dad and Malcolm in the middle. No, and then Breaking Bad. Yeah, Breaking Bad. Yeah. Breaking, did you watch that? I did. I had to stop watching it when I was working with him, though, because it would have been a bit, you know, a conflict of interest. That's a great show. It's That's a great a really show. That's a really good show, and he looks good in underpants. Yeah, he does. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He takes care of himself. He runs a lot. We Does ran. He? We'd run together. Do you run? Every now and then. Only with Brian Cranston? Only with Brian. Only if Brian's down there in the gym sweating. <laughs> Jeff? I like the way you talk, girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jeff? I like that dress. It's got, like, lattice work on it. <laughs> I knew this dress would take some... <laughs> work that lattice, Alice. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit left out. No, sorry, actually, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. Sorry. Anyway, it's commercial break time, Alice. Okay, bye. No, no, no. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Alice Eve, uh, who's in this very good film, Cold, Cold Comes the Night. Very good. That was very good. Is that music in your film? No, but um, thank God. 
Hey, uh, what music do you like? I've never asked you. Oh, do that's you enjoy... a really good question. Is it? Well, then I'm never know... asking it again. Okay. Do you know who I bought? Okay, first of all, I like the XX. That's the band that I think is the most you, interesting. You bet. Yes. Um, okay. Okay. Not Easy a band, with a Jamie. And then I also just bought this band on recommendation of my friend called... The, oh, no, he's not a band. He's a... a I guess he's an R&B artist, which I think is coming back. Um, Has it been away? Well, in the 90s, it was so good, you know, yes. with a liar and all the... A lot of female R&B artists in the 90s, but I think it's coming back, and this guy, The Weeknd, is really good. Uh, I, so I just listened to his album. All right. Well, uh, hey, uh, don't uh, applaud just because she likes music. Lots of people like music. No, that guy liked The Weeknd in red. Yes, okay. Yeah, you, yeah. I, I think he might be just trying to get your attention. He got it. <laughs> I, I like whatever you like, Alice. <laughs> you got a pretty mouth. <laughs> Yeah. But I think that the, the lord among men when it comes to music is George Harrison. Oh, yes, my goodness. Lovely George, God rest him. He was lovely. If you don't know where you're going, Craig, any road will take you there. Yeah, it's a bit advanced for me. <laughs> <laughs> Alice Eve, everybody. We were out there. There's another beautiful actress. <laughs> Getting her money's worth out of that. Crikey! Her, <laughs> her show rake uh, airs uh, Thursdays on Fox. Take a look at this. <laughs> Boyana Novakovic, everybody. Boyana Novakovic. Please! Boyana! Hello! What a beautiful name that is, Boyana. Is that Serbian by any chance? Oh, it is. Wow, you read your card. I can't <laughs> believe it. No, I, because during the commercial break, I went out and I said, welcome, and I said, Boyana, that's a lovely name. And she said, uh, it's Serbian. And I said, oh, you're from Serbia or something. And then you said, I didn't read my cards. Yeah, you didn't. I really want to look at this. Mm. Wow. <laughs> talk, talk. Yeah, that's talk. right. Oh, look, you've got tattoos on your... So do you. I do. I have you a lot of looks them. Looks like a naughty one, that one. No, 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 not at all. It's very patriotic. It's a little oh. bit naughty because it's on me, but the, uh... <laughs> How many do you have? Just the two? Three, this one, too. Oh, that must have hurt. It really like, did. yeah, my lord. It did. In the palm of your hand? Yeah. How drunk were you? I was actually stone cold sober. Really? And heartbroken. Oh. Mm. Yeah, the pain helps. <laughs> it's the snake cup. I love the snake snake cup. I was excited to meet the snake cup. <laughs> the snake cup is excited to meet you. <laughs> well, and Jeff, where's Jeff? Oh, there you Jeff's oh there. hello there, my dear. How hello. are you? Zdravo, zdravo. Oh, Jeff, kakosi. Uh, yeah. I didn't know you spoke Serbian. Sure I do. Yeah, yeah, fluently, fluently. Oh really? Uh, say Are something else in yeah. Serbian then. Yeah, uh, tacos el carbon. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Serbians. Thank you. Jeff. Jeff's, Jeff's so funny. Yeah, your accent sounds a little bit Australian, to be honest. I have to be. Is... We did move to Australia when I was seven. I see. Which part of Australia? We moved to Sydney and then I moved to Melbourne. Have you been? I have, but at both places I really liked Melbourne. Me I don't quite like Sydney too. as well, but Melbourne, my lord. So good. Lots of punks in Melbourne. I think they keep. I was one of them! <laughs> now you're in a suit. Just yes, yes, but underneath the suit, naughty tattoos and the heart of punk rock. Do you have any other tattoos? Yes. Mm. <laughs> I, I was really drunk. <laughs> no, I would never get my, you know... Where did you get your tattoos, then? Um, On oh, your arms? No, but, I mean, where did you get them? In New York. Oh, right. Oh, God, I hope he's not watching. Who? The guy who did this one. Why? I fell in love with him when he did it. And then he did this one, and it says, Can't get rid of you, and then he broke up with me. <laughs> wait, wait. You got tattoos done by a lover? Yeah. Well, he wasn't my lover. 
Really? Yeah. Well, gosh, that's brave. And then we broke up and then I got this one. Yeah, but that must be tough. Because then it's on you. Well, it, oh no, I love them. Okay, really yeah, no, do. fair enough. Yeah, I don't well, regret a single one. Right, all right. What are you doing with that card now? I'm just seeing what you've been told to talk. I'm just, I've always been intrigued watching right. your show, what the cards say. Because people work and they, they yeah, work they actually work them. I tear them up every night. Yeah, I know, I know, and I. And I kind of just thought it would be nice to mention, you know, that people work hard to write the They do, and, and you know, their work is deeply appreciated. My thanks. <laughs> my thanks to all of the people who write on these cards every night. I only reason I tear them up is to express my disdain for the job and the medium. <laughs> That's all. Well, but you're, you've got it. No, don't clap that. Don't clap that. You have, you have the best, this is the best talk show. I, I think it's a great talk show, you but that's can, like you being, curse, you know, that's you like curse. being the, the, you know, the, the tallest midget. I mean, so, so what? No, you're lucky. No, I like this show. You, I do. You curse and they put a little flag over your mouth. They let you curse. Do you, do you I curse? Yes. Yeah. Hey, caramba! <laughs> <laughs> She's Serbian! Clap that! Clap She's that. Serbian! She's Serbian and then Australian. She doesn't understand our ways. Let her talk! <laughs> you're a racist man. Double racist. Serbia and Australia. Have you, ever, have you ever been back to Serbia? Oh, I didn't even see that you were there, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, no, come on. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But I appreciate the work you do. He didn't do these, did he? No, no, oh. he doesn't do these. He's way above that. He oh. tells people to do these. Oh, okay. okay, okay, okay. And they're like, but he tears them up every night and he says, you better do them. <laughs> Let's, no, no, let's see, hang on. Rake. Oh, well, no, we did that. You yeah, never, Rake. You never Rake's... talk about people's shows. Yeah, I do. Tell, tell me about oh, Rake. Oh, my is, God, is they're it... going to love me for bringing that up. Rake. Yeah, yeah, Rake. Is, is it any good? Yeah. There you are, then. You should watch it. I've seen them all. It's on... really great. Are they on uh, TV? And you know what? I'm not just saying that. Uh, yes, it's on TV. <laughs> Am I allowed to say it? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, no. It's, a yeah, it's on Fox. Yeah. I already said it. 9 p.m. Thursday night. 9 p.m. Thursday night. Yeah, you know, it's so fun. I was, I, was, I was really nervous about having to talk about it because, you know, most people. I really wish they had like an like a like a an honesty meter when people talked about oh, who they do, work with. Oh, you do. You don't want. No, to have I that. do because do you know what? Because like me talking about Rake, everything would be honest. The honest truth. It's such a good group of people to work. Well, who like Kinnear? Yes. Oh, do you know? No. Uh, he's been no. here a couple of times. No, I need to say something. I need to say something. He's in lovely. His honor. He's May lovely. I? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. He was ill, very ill. Was he? Yes. Oh. Very, very sick on set, and he. Stayed on set to work. I do a live show every Wednesday night. I'm about to go and do it after this. Really? Where? You're my warm-up act. Um, oh. where, where do you do your live show? At the three clubs. Now we're talking about my show and Rick is going to kill me. I'm promoting a different show. Uh, no, it's, it's all right. <laughs> I, 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 it's fine. I do, it's kind of like this. Really? You, you know, do I, a talk show? Yeah, well, no, no. It's called The Blind Date Project. I go on a Blind different... Date Project, yeah. eh? <laughs> what kind of a blind this... date are we talking about, sister? Oh, is this for real? Yeah, I'm cleaning. Hang on, is this board music or is this like no? Go it's on it's theme no, music? it's it's noir. It's noir music. I've you, never done you, a talk show. You need to be very nice to me. I'm a talk show. Have you never done a talk show? Yeah, be gentle. Well, this isn't really a talk show. <laughs> oh, this is. You can't see me. He's not a real horse. <laughs> okay, go on. <laughs> I've been waving and he's yes, not. Yes, he's not. Back. He's not there. Okay. The only Sorry, people are here are you and me and the skeleton, baby. <laughs> so what are, we, what are we talking about? Are we talking I, about my show? No, we're talking about your show, The Three it's of like Clubs, this. or okay, something. Okay, so it's a fully improvised hour. I have no idea how that would work. Of me. It works. <laughs> you should be a guest. You should be my date, Craig. You should come and be my date on it. Oh, it's a that's fully a, yes. improvised hour. It's called The Blind Date Project. I go on a blind date with a different actor or performer every week. And directions are sent to us via text messages and phone calls. And it's an improv show that lasts an hour in a karaoke bar. And we sing, there's no set ending, and what happens is... I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold you to it. I'll do it. <laughs> You'd be it's great. just the kind of thing that I like. It expresses... <laughs> no, no, contempt for the... <laughs> format, and I like that. Which format? I have no idea. <laughs> My feet aren't even touching the ground. I'm so sure. George, you want to so big. Uh, oh my yeah, god, my mind. the Tom Cruise still. Hold on. Oh, uh. thanks. <laughs> ah, anyway, are. Rake's amazing because Greg was really <laughs> ill and he. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Thank we you. We keep that in case Tom Cruise is ever on. Yeah. Yeah. He's my height. <laughs> maybe, maybe now that he sees that it works. Yeah, don't worry, up. Tom. We're we're set up for you. Oh, we gotta. We have to go. We're way over. Sorry. Really? Yeah. Way over. I'll talk to you more right, on your show. 
Oh, do we have to do the commercial break now? Yes. Oh, you will come. You'll come and do my show. But you don't play yourself. You play a character. Oh. Tutsi frutsi. Oh, you can play yourself then. You can I'll play... do it. Okay, great. All right then. But I play a character. All right, go to a commercial break. I... Oh, let's go. Well, wait, who's oh, your character? Her name's... Oh, it doesn't matter. She changes. So according to who... I'm not allowed to know that it's you either, right? I don't know who it is. So I'll put you in touch with my people and then we'll figure it out. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back.